My name is Elena Perez, class of 2001. I graduated with a degree in Chicano Studies. My name is Eric Yanez. I graduated class of 2017 and my major was Business Administration with a concentration in Management and I minored in Spanish. My name is Maylin Cisneros. I graduated in 2008, double majored in Sociology and Creative Writing. My name is Rena Burton and I graduated in 1999 with a Bachelor of Arts in Social Relations. Jeff Giroux graduated from UC Riverside in 2010 as part of the Palm Desert Low Residency MFA program where I got my Master of Fine Arts. My experience at UCR as an undergrad connected me with a lot of resources and a lot of mentors and I was fortunate enough to access them and so I think for me uh, the mentors and support that I received as an undergrad really motivated me to want to do that as well, to be a mentor and to be a motivator and to encourage students to pursue higher education. My experience here at UCR has definitely been um, a whirlwind. Um, just getting out of your comfort zone, um, that's what my main objective was when I was coming here into UCR. Like, try new things, um, and it's definitely like helped me improve in a lot of aspects, um, both professionally, emotionally, and everything that adds to a person, I, I would say. I graduated in 2008, which was the time of the recession. So I tried to enter the workforce in a really dry time, and it taught me a mighty lesson that although your degree is essential in getting that dream job, it's not a guarantee. So I had to get really creative, and I used my connections that I made on campus, uh, my personal connections and my professional connections, to uh, discover opportunities that other people weren't privy to. My experience at UCR was very, very unique in um, I was really involved, um, I was a scholar athlete, I was on ASPB, so the program board, I worked on campus, and so I think all of those experiences um, really influenced me to want to work in higher education um, because of the staff members and faculty members that supported me while I was a student. It made me want to be able to help students as well, and so that's why I ended up um, becoming a higher education professional. Well, I think anybody who comes to UCR is open to a, a whole world of possibility, new people, new ideas, new opportunities, uh, and my experience was no different. Um, coming here really forced me or to to open uh, up my mind and challenge myself to take on new things, try new things, uh, consider possibilities for my profession that I might not have considered before. So it was a great experience. So the interesting thing is I never left. Okay. <laughs> um, I graduated in June, mm -hmm. was working uh, through the summer, and then by November, I was a professional staff member, so really have been on campus all that time. Um, and I've been fortunate enough to work in a position, all of my positions have allowed me to work with students. And so that's what I think keeps me here, but that's what brought me here. Um, I said, you know, I shared that having people open doors for me and keep them open in some cases was important for me to then give back. So I think what brought me to UCR was wanting to give back, to be able to create the experience that was created for me for other students. But the main reason why I decided to come back was um, I felt like I wanted to give back to the community that gave me so much, um, whether that was, you know, trying to um, influence um, my student workers or the people that work around me, um, I think that was one of the main reasons I wanted to come back and just give back to the community that gave me so much. I grew up in Riverside, so my entire life I've had constant contact with UCR. Um, UCR students frequented my parents' donut shop. UCR students um, volunteered at my um, junior high. UCR students tutored me in high school. So at a very young age, I knew I wanted to be a part of UCR. So when I started my career as a student, it just further fed my love for UCR, and I knew that I wanted to keep that role going. So not only was I experiencing what UCR students were giving me as a child, then as a young adult, I became that UCR student. And then as an adult, I was like, I want to support those students that are giving back to the community and doing great things to the world. So it's been a very fulfilling, just, 
I really wanted to be able to work with students who were having similar experiences to my undergraduate experience. When I did come back to be a staff member, that's when UCR was really doing some cool and dynamic things surrounding student success and um, just helping students, all students to be successful. And I really wanted to be a part of that. And so, um, Seeing that and like I said, just kind of wanting to give back to the place that gave me so much. Um, I just decided I wanted to make a change and, and come back here. And I've now been here as a staff member 12 years. I love it here. I, I believe in the, the mission of the University of California, but I, I specifically believe in the mission of UC Riverside. Um, no matter who you are, where you come from, what your ethnicity is, what your financial background is, you know, what your immigration status is, Everyone here is given the opportunity to succeed and we want to see you succeed and you can be everything and anything you want. Uh, I meet folks all the time who say, well, I don't know if I can afford UCR and we want to make this as, as accessible to everyone as we can. Uh, I believe in that mission. I believe that uh, the students that we're graduating today are going to make the world a better place and they're going to change things for the better and I'm proud to be part of that. If you can afford it and it's feasible, live on campus. That experience is amazing. I grew up five minutes by city street, but I lived in the res halls my first year. Mm -hmm. And I will say that it was an experience unlike any other for me just to grow as a person and as an individual. That's not always feasible, but the second one, the one that I think most, if not all students can do or incoming students is find someone on campus that you can ask questions of. Whether that is a professor, a TA, a staff member, another student, someone who's gonna help direct you and guide you. I think connecting with a resource early is important. So if that is someone over in the Academic Resource Center, absolutely. But if not, I tell students all the time, I don't care if it's the person walking, you know, stuff in the hub, like get, find someone that you can ask questions of who can help direct and guide you. Um, that might be a professor, a TA, an advisor, uh, someone over in the ARC, but building that early so that you have it as an undergrad, because like I said, college is tough. And so to have that person to be able to say, what am I doing? Who can I talk to? Um, it's always great to have that network. Get out of your comfort zone, even if that means doing things alone. Um, I, I did a lot of things by myself, but um, along the way I was able to meet people. I studied abroad, um, so I decided to do that by myself. Um, I did UCDC, and I did the whole process by myself as well. Because I feel like a lot of people like are kind of mm, skeptical of doing those things just because yeah. they don't have like a friend to do it with, or like they don't want to do it by themselves. Mm -hmm. But I think, you know, just taking a chance, and I think that can definitely like help out. I want to advise students to take the wins and the losses. Because the L's aren't just losses, they could be lessons too. Um, you gotta hold yourself accountable. Think back, think about like what led you to that loss and recognize it and don't repeat it. You have to figure out exactly where, where you went wrong and tell yourself you're not gonna get there again. But also remember, don't be too hard on yourself. We all make mistakes and that's why pencils have erasers. Uh, I would say get involved. Um, I made friends at UCR that are still my, we're still friends to this day. You know, we met 25 years ago as freshmen and we still keep in contact and like our kids know each other and things like that. So get involved, you're gonna meet a lot of really good people. Um, also connect with, you know, your faculty and staff on campus. Um, again, there were several staff members that supported me um, as my time as, during my time as a student um, and just were really a part of kind of like my support group that really, that helped me to get through and to be able to be successful to graduate. Absolutely, uh, two things. One, challenge yourself. You are capable of much more than you can even imagine. And two, you don't have to do this alone. Um, there's an entire campus full of support. Uh, everything from the Academic Resource Center, the Student Disability Resource Center, uh, the WELL, uh, Student Life. Everyone here, we've got thousands of employees and they all want to see you succeed.